A year before I was going to run, Bobby Knight called. And they say, sir, do you know a Bobby Knight? I said, do you mean the coach? This is before I ran. And I said, uh, you're talking about the coach? My secretary, great person. Said, yes, sir, I think he said he was a coach. I pick up. I said, hello. He goes, Trump, this is Bobby Knight, and you gotta run for president, and our country needs you. And I said, that's Bobby Knight. That's Bobby Knight. That's Bobby Knight. After the first word, I knew it was Bobby Knight. And he said, you gotta run. I said, well, you know, Bobby, first of all, I respect you a lot, and I really love winners, and you are a winner. And the job you did, great guy. He's also a great guy, big heart. He doesn't want people to know that, but he's actually got a very big heart. He'd be devastated if I said that he has a big, but he does, he has a big heart. But I said, you know, Bobby, I haven't decided to run, but if I do, could you give me a number? I'll take it and I'll call you. So a friend of mine, he's from Indiana, great guy. I said, how am I doing in Indiana? He says, great. I said, good. He said, what can I do to a church? Well, if you could get, like, Bobby Knight to endorse you, that would end Indiana. I said, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that, but he called me a year ago wanting me to run. He said the country needs it. And I said, and I put his number right here. I was at my desk. I put his number right here. And true, true. I bet you I have 2,000 pages of stuff, more. And I said, I put it right here. And I lifted up the stack, like, in the middle. I lifted it up. And there's a little card that says Bobby Knight with a number. It was the weirdest thing. That's... I said, here's his number. The guy actually looked at me and goes, that's amazing. And I dialed in front of him. I dialed the number. And Bobby Knight didn't even ask who was on the phone. I guess he sees New York and he sees maybe Trump organization. He goes, I've been waiting for you to call. 